All right, hi there. These comments are for Saruthi, and you have some uh, questions about the subjunctive mood in English grammar, and this is important for your TOEFL speaking and even TOEFL writing, but the other day you had a question that says if you, if your friend were applying for a job interview, what advice would you give him, or is a question similar to that? And I think that kind of question because you are kind of making a suggestion or recommendation to someone else, that's a perfect time to use a subjunctive mood. So how does it work exactly? So you said, uh, I have a question related to subjunctive mood sentence formation. Can you tell me which sentences are right and wrong? And I'm, that's what I'm going to do right now, but let me just clarify this. So advise, suggest, require, order, stipulate, recommend, all of these are considered verbs of urging. So if you have a verb of urging in the main part of the sentence, I require that, I suggest that, I order that, I stipulate that, I recommend that, then you have the noun clause connector, then you have your subject, here's a key, you want to use the base form of the verb here, not an infinitive. Right? So now let's take a look at some of the sentences that you're practicing right now. I'll give you some feedback. So you say, I would suggest that my friend, this is not correctly written. You cannot use the infinitive in the noun clause after a connector and a subject. You definitely need a verb here. Sentence number two. I would suggest that my friend practice some relaxation techniques. That's correct, just like one. Now we got to correct this one. If my friend... Because you have would here, I'm going to say, if my friend were nervous about a job interview, I would suggest that you can't say, you can't use an object pronoun directly after. So you want to say, I would suggest that he practice some relaxation techniques. Now the next one. Again, because you're saying would, you're talking about a present impossible situation. So if my friend were nervous about our job interview, I would suggest him that. You can't do that either. I would say I would suggest that he practice some re relaxation techniques. The next one, if my friend were nervous about a job interview, I would suggest I would suggest that he practice some relaxation techniques. Okay, so that's what I would do. Those are the changes I would make to the sentences that you wrote. So still, you're not 100% clear on how to use this uh, verb, uh, this subjunctive mood. So hopefully after this video, you'll have the clarification you need so you can confidently and accurately use this grammar in TOEFL speaking. Now, the other thing I want to do right now I'm going to show you how to rewrite this in what's called present possible. This is what's called present impossible situation, right? So, if we make it a possible type situation, we might say, if my friend is nervous I will suggest that he practice some relaxation techniques. Now how about, let's make this a past impossible reality here. So if my friend, we want to use the, the past tense to do this, had been nervous, then you would say, I would have suggested that he practice. Notice how the subjunctive, it doesn't change. It doesn't matter if you're talking about past, present, future. You want to keep using the base form there. So the trigger, of course, is this verb of urging. This is what triggers the subjunctive mood. All right, so hopefully this will get you going in the right direction. Okay, let's see how you did with this speaking practice test. So you're doing this practice test again. You're trying to use the new grammar that you learned 
in this speaking practice. If my friend is nervous about the job interview, I would suggest that he to practice on the week before the interview and to learn some relaxation techniques. Yes, yes, very correct. And partly part of, uh, I would say, if my friend were, I would. If my friend is, I will. I would make that correction, but I think part of it is it's a mistake in how I wrote the question in the first place. But anyway, you're using the subjunctive correctly there, so very nice. If my friend is nervous about the job interview, I would suggest that he to practice on the week before the interview and to learn some relaxation techniques. First of all, I would advise that my friend practice every possible question and answer on beforehand. Good, you're using it very comfortably. This could be anything from writing down interview questions and making him himself answer them out loud over and over. And making himself answer them. Very good. You could say making himself to answer, but I think after make, you don't need to use the infinitive. You can use a base form of the verb, so your language use is good there. Over. Until his answers fly off his tongue automatically. To practicing with a friend playing the role of his interviewer. Second of all, I would also recommend that my friend to practice some relax. No, I'd recommend that my friend practice, not I recommend that my friend to practice. So that's a language use error. You don't want to put the infinitive in the noun clause. So don't do that. That's going to kill your TOEFL score. Especially deep breathing exercises. Because he could do it almost unnoticed by taking a deep, big breath, holding for a few seconds, and then letting it out. By doing this few times, his heart rate... By doing this a few times... Actually slows down by relaxing his nerves. Okay, so overall, I think you have very good with your topic development. You have an organization. You have supporting detail. So you answered the question, which is good. You had one problem forming the subjunctive and forming a noun clause in there where you use infinitive in there. That was it. Overall, though, you, you're showing progress. You incorporated the subjunctive mood into your speaking task. So it's telling me that you're more comfortable using this more advanced grammar. So good there. Pronunciation, some minor issues with, with that. So one thing I'd like you to work on is intonation. You can work on varying your intonation, and you can learn about that uh, by going to pronunciation lessons 36 through 40. But overall, I think this is a very strong response. I think you made some improvements. But still, you know, can you get a score of four? That is the question. Um, I'm going to say probably not. I'm going to put you at 23 to 24 points out of 30 on this, 3.0 to 3.1 out of 4.